This is a very exciting moment in studio history. Historically, we've been working to make small format, or I guess less expensive consumer cameras, look more like production. And, you know, how do you emulate the look of a feature film without actually owning a high-end camera? And set. Set. And action. We're shooting on the A7S Mark II. That is a 35 millimeter full frame CMOS sensor. I mean, it's a, basically a very big sensor in a small camera. This is kind of the ultimate test to see not only will the cameras perform, but can we make the whole thing as a, as a unit perform. Right. Cut. This job is not for everyone. Because of the hours? Because the only co-workers are cadavers. This, this is the first time that a studio movie is shooting with a camera that is available to the consumer, the A7S Mark II. It's, uh, Where are you shooting that? He wants to be able to move in between the shelves in there. So this so, is the whole setup. Well, this is just for one shot. So anyone can go out and buy these cameras. They're not super expensive, and they do really, really well with low light. We can shoot at relatively high ISOs. Our base ISO for most of the show has been 3,200. And when you look at the dailies, surprisingly noiseless for how high that is. And that's what's exciting about this movie, is that we're shooting at locations like Boston City Hall, but walking the streets of Boston. What we are looking at on set, as far as the color, temperature, can be interpreted all the way down line to the final look of the film. Shay Mitchell came to me at the very beginning of the show, and uh, she looked at my camera, and she looked at the movie cameras, and she said, wait a minute, are you using the same camera they're using? And I said, yeah, we're all using the Sony A7. And we had to make sure that the camera was going to be able to withstand the types of day-to-day -day activities on a set. Our ACs basically were building these cameras that had never been put together in this way before. The results have been astounding. The image itself and the fact that this was a Sony Alpha camera producing this, that we're going to all go to theaters and see, is to me totally remarkable. It really gives me an opportunity to use these cameras to the full range of what they're designed to do. There are things that I don't think that I could have done with another camera. Most importantly, I think a lot of people who already own this camera or are thinking about owning it realize that there's no limitations for them in terms of the camera itself.